Welcome back, and this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today we're going to have a very cool thing. We're going to interview the owner and founder of Sons of Henry Shoes and Vecla, uh, a new clothing brand. Uh, this is going to be uh, pretty much an unedited video, so uh, please bear with the mistakes and hope you enjoy it. Hey, I've organized all my playlists on this channel so that you're able to easily find different types of shoes, different brands of shoes, as well as uh, finding all my shoe battles, uh, worth the price shoe reviews, et cetera, all in one place. Enjoy. Now, welcome everybody. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and I have with us today Tom, uh, Tom Brown from uh, Sons of Henry. And uh, Tom has agreed to talk to us today a little bit about his background, his brand, and um, the specific things he's working on today, just so that uh, we can uh, get a better understanding of, of him, you know, his love of shoes and, and why we're here. So um, with that, Tom, um, I wanted to ask you about shoes in general. How, mm -hmm. did you, how did you decide to get into shoes? I mean, what was it about shoes that attracted you? And, and, and tell us. Um, well, uh, basically, in the beginning, it, it wasn't shoes. Um, but I've always been passionate um, about um, things that are well made, just in general, uh, um, uh, working with your hands, a real uh, craftsmanship. Um, and, and yeah, because when I, when I was younger, I, I always wanted to be um, a carpenter. Um, but yeah, things, things turn out differently. And, um, but I always had this passion for, for nicely made things. And, 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 my father had a huge uh, shoe closet uh, with a lot of um, yeah, smaller brands, uh, Belgian brands, um, brands such as uh, Church. That's quite a big brand in Belgium. Sure. Um, uh, Greve shoes, but I'm, that that's like a, a Dutch brand, but it's, it's it's also really 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 nice shoe. And um, I always was fascinated by 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 the quality of his shoes, um, by the the craftsmanship that went into it, uh, even though uh, Church and, and Greve shoes are, are, are factory made, uh, it's still a beautiful shoe. And so one thing led to the other. And, 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 and so from being interested in, in, in craftsmanship, I became interested in, in, in the craftsmanship behind shoes. Um, and then at a, at a, at a certain point, um, my brother studied overseas. He studied in uh, the Netherlands and uh, in, a, in a really small city, they had a small bookshop. Uh, one day he, he brought home the book by, um, by Laszlo Vaz. Uh, so the book about handmade shoes. Yeah. Um, and I was super fascinated by it. Um, and, and yeah, from there, basically, uh, the passion grew. Oh, that's great. It's a great book, actually. I, I have it. Uh... Right oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a wonderful book. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a really good book. There it is. Yeah. It's actually very difficult to find at the moment because when I when, when I started uh, selling bus shoes a couple of years ago, yeah. um, I had to ask uh, the, 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 the printer to print me uh, uh, a couple of copies because, because it's, it's, it's difficult to find. But it's, it's really a, a really good book, I think. Yeah. 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 No, it's, it's definitely, um, it really details out a lot on the craftsmanship yeah. side. That it that it's difficult to find. Yeah, I always have it, have it with me uh, somewhere in my closet behind me. But yeah, it's it's um, I I read it quite often because it's it's uh, it has a lot of knowledge. And the thing is that the the things that are written in the book are 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 just uh, true. Because when you read about it on Google, you sometimes find um, uh, different opinions or different different um, a different uh, way. Of 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 uh, like 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 the part about how leather stands on the internet, you don't always find the right information. But in the book, uh, it's all really correct. So yeah, that's that that yeah. makes it a really good book to me. Yeah. 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 No, I I agree with that. I think that that's uh, that that there's always a distinction between what you can get online and and what you can yeah. find in books. And and definitely. yeah, def yeah, definitely clearer. Um, so, so how did you get in from a passion in the shoe and shoe craftsmanship to actually being in yeah. there? How did, how did that work for you? Uh, well, also, uh, purely by accident, actually, um, uh, I, um, so I, I got a book from, uh, from Vaz and, and, um, so then I became interested, okay, where, 
do they sell Vast shoes? Uh, so I started looking for Vast shoes, and in fact, at the time, uh, there was a really small store in Belgium uh, at the coast um, that sold a couple of styles from from Vaz. So I decided to go and visit them, and um, uh, basically, they 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 stopped. Uh, the, they were stopping the store. They were um, uh, 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 closing the store, <clears throat> and they had uh, quite a few uh, Vaz shoes left. But all uh, smaller sizes, uh, mostly in black, and 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 they asked me um, if if I was interested in 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 those shoes, and 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 of course, they weren't for me because they were quite small sizes, and 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 and, but I was thinking, yeah, it's a really high value shoe, and they were selling them, I think, at at maybe 130 or 135 euros. Wow. So I was thinking, okay, maybe maybe I can I can try and flip them, on eBay or 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 whatever, and then. I can I I still know the 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 very first shoe I I bought from them. It was like a quite tall boot um, in black calf. Um, and at the time I thought it was uh, Cordovan. Um, I was convinced it was Cordovan, but of course now I know better. It it, it was just simple calf leather. But right. it, there there's a picture in in, in the book uh, from Vaz that shows a a black boot in Cordovan. And so I, I was I, I was sure it was Cordovan. But so I I decided to flip it on 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 internet, but I just call it calf leather because yeah I wasn't wasn't sure of course, but I just call it calf. But I was thinking yeah this is going to sell so well, but it it actually didn't. Uh, it didn't sell that well. So first um, uh, try basically, um, it stopped for quite a while. Uh, so I didn't I didn't buy or sell any more shoes because uh, the boot took quite a while to sell basically, uh, and I didn't make that much profit on it. Um, but then all of a sudden, I got an email from uh, from a guy in Budapest who saw my ad uh, from Belgium, and he told me he was able to to get me more shoes. Uh, he had a um, a sort of a Dropbox account, and he uploaded uh, shoe pictures to the Dropbox account, and um, and if I was interested in a in a in 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 in, in a certain shoe, um, I I was able to buy it. Uh, he would ship it to Belgium, and I would sell it to, to United States or to, or China, or um, and, and and so that's how I started. Um, and I started selling through uh, Style Forum and through eBay. Yeah. Um, and then after a while, I I started to realize, okay, this guy in 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 Hungary is basically just uh, reselling the shoes from inside the workshop. So I thought, okay. I should try and get closer to the to the to the to the to the source. So I I I went to Budapest. I, I visited Budapest, and there I started talking with with uh, Reggio uh, uh, Reggio Kuti, who was a sales manager for uh, Vas Shoes at the time. Yeah. And it's basically through him that I that I really uh, got into shoes. Uh, he's a wonderful guy. Um, knows a lot about shoes. And he he basically helped me um, set up a small business uh, where I could um, import shoes from Vaz from Budapest into Belgium, and I would sell them um, to anywhere in 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 the world basically. And 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 so that's how I started. But um, what you should know is that 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 back at and that time I was still in 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 school, yeah. so uh, I only did that like. Um, in the evenings, in the weekends, uh, just to have some 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 experience, um, and it was a lot of fun to do, basically. Um, but if if you're if you're just doing it like as a side business, um, it 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 kind of uh, it 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 was a small business, and 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 I had a feeling that um, it was difficult to grow the business. Um, so during a period of, of two or maybe three years, I only did that. Uh, so I only proxied Vaz shoes, but I, I stayed a really small company. Um, and, and, and so I stayed only on style forum. But also because I stayed only on style forum, people also got to know me really well on style forum. So, right. so I really targeted just a small niche. Um, not because I wanted to, but just because I didn't have more time or more resources to build a big, big online web shop. Um, yeah, but so that's then how I got into into Style Forum, and then then I built like a, a small 
group of customers uh, that are really interested in, 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 in what I do. And, and so it's thanks to them that I was able then uh, after Vos to, to, to start Sons of Henry and then, and then now Vecla. Uh, yeah, so that's, um, yeah. that's how well, it went. So, so good. So, so let's talk a little bit about that transition to Sons of Henry because yeah. Vest shoes and Sons of Henry are, are pretty different because Sons of Henry. Yeah, is correct. Yeah, so, it's different. It's different, but for me, basically, the the um, the idea has always remained. Um, what I noticed with with Vas is okay. They're a handmade shoe, um, which is which is which is wonderful. Uh, making a shoe by hand is, is is very difficult, but leads to a really nice result. Um, but they are really focused on 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 high quality materials. Um, so I think if you're if you're if you're looking for the highest value shoe at this moment, I think Vaz is still a really good option. Um, I'm not sure what they're doing now because it's 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 been a couple of years since I bought from them, but um, I think it's still a really good option. But their focus on on, on high quality materials was always key. Um, I, I uh, still to this date, I don't know any other brand that buys um, their leather that expensive. Um, I know their 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 leather stores in 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 Austria, um, and the leather is, is 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 much more expensive than than from any other source. They 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 really source uh, the highest grade calf leather. So that's really uh, I take my hat off to them for that because it's really. Uh, it really shows their 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 passion for the product and 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 how how they really want to uh, build a, a a good quality product and so that's something i learned from them but i also realized that um the 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 extra cost of making a shoe by hand isn't always worth it uh, not 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 every customer is looking for a handmade shoe uh, all the time um, a Goodyear welted shoe is also uh, a good option. And so my idea was to combine um, the cheaper manufacturing method of Goodyear welting with the high quality materials that I saw with us. With, with um, and that's basically how uh, Sons of Henry is born. And, and still to this day, I mean, I'm, I'm charged by the factory in Spain only for the craftsmanship of the, of, of, of the construction of the shoe. But for example, all of the leather, or at least ninety-five percent of the leather, is sent in by me. Right. I don't. Uh, I don't want the factory to to buy the leather for me because I know they will buy a lower grade or they will mix grades or whatever. And for me, it's really important that I have a high grade leather. Um, but the craftsmanship can be can be Goodyear welded. It can be in Spain. Uh, that's 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 perfectly fine. But the quality of the material. Is really is still key for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was getting into a discussion the other day with somebody when we were talking about some of the the higher tier brands, and we were talking about quality of leather and how different it is. And, and I think that that's one of those things that um, you know I, I started in in shoes with Alan Edmonds, um, you know, just as a consumer, and Alan yeah. Edmonds leather quality is pretty good, but it's not top of the line. Right. I mean, they buy oh, a lot of leather, right? Yeah. So it, it's just it's it's a very different uh, piece. Uh, Gaziano and Girling was talking about how they can take a whole whole uh, piece of leather, a whole hide, and only get yeah. a couple pairs of shoes out of it. Where yeah. you know, think, other companies, think, that's a different different tactic. Go ahead. Yeah. Go. I I think that's that's that that's still the difference with uh, Sons of Henry and a couple of more expensive brands. That's also why I'm 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 never going to say that I'm as good. As a more expensive brand, because um, I definitely cut more shoes per square meter than a company such as Edward Green or um, or any other of the of the of the high end manufacturers in England. Um, so that's definitely something that um, that puts them still in a higher uh, on on a higher level, basically. Right. Um, but you don't but, charge thirteen hundred dollars for shoes. Either. Yeah, indeed. Right. That's that's correct. Yeah. So so that's that's a bit. Uh, uh, the point of of, of of Sons of Henry, I I think is it's it's a really good quality shoe for its price bracket. Uh, the quality of leather is is is, is really good. Um, uh, but I'm not going to pretend that I'm that I'm as good as 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 some of the high level shoes from from the UK. Yeah, yeah, no, it makes sense. Um, so so Sons of Henry is going pretty well. 
Um, I've yes. seen you do a lot of uh, uh, GMTOs and uh, yeah, yeah. Forge, and, and it's been fantastic. It's a great shoe. Yeah. Uh, and I really, I mean, it was my first introduction to Utah Cap, and Utah Cap has been mm -hmm. kind of a, a, a big thing for you because you've been able to source it yeah, and true. build some nice shoes with it. Yeah. Tell me about that. How did that, how did you come upon Utah Cap? Because you're one of the first outside of Edward Green to, to really offer it in a lot of variety. Yeah, so um, when I was still selling uh, Vos shoes, I uh, so I, I was still in school, uh, like I said, so I also had quite a bit of uh, free time, let's say, um, and I didn't have any 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 bills coming in at the end of the month. Right. So so all of the money that I that I earned with selling Vos shoes, I was able to reinvest in, uh, for example, uh, going to Italy. Uh, to visit leather fairs. Um, I, uh, my very first leather fair, I think, must have been about eight years ago. Um, and there I got to know um, some really good suppliers, um, basically thanks to Vaz as well, because I, I was able to say that I was the, 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 the online agent for Vaz Shoes. So they were really, really, really kind to me. Um, and so one of the, one of the suppliers um, in those leather fairs was uh, Tanri Haas. Uh, Tanri Haas is a, is a, is a French uh, producer of, 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 of leather, but uh, mainly a, a vegetable tanned. Um, and one of their articles that I had in the, in the, in the, in the boot was um, the Utah, Utah calf leather. Well, they call it differently, but they, they, they have a couple of different names for it, but some of the names are, um, I, I can't use. Let's say they are. Okay, uh, sure. Some of the names are, are linked to Edward Green, for example, and and, and I, I can't use them. But so let's say they 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 just had leather on display, and 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 uh, what I, what I mostly did uh, during my uh, visits to those fairs was just uh, soak up all of the information that I could and take as many samples home as I could. And so I actually had a sample of the Utah calf quite early on. Um, and I wanted to introduce it to Vast. Uh, I told him, look, this is a really, really nice leather, high quality leather. Uh, let's let's use it for some shoes. But with Vast, they were quite uh, difficult in that aspect. They were focusing on, 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 on other things at the time. They had just launched uh, some new lasts. They were working with um, uh, on a new um, S last, the S last and SP last. Uh, and so they were really focused on that and they weren't too focused on, 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 on finding uh, new letters basically. So I always hit, a, like I, I kind of um, um, hit a wall um, every time I, 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 I try to introduce something new. So that was the main reason for me to, to, to look elsewhere and to start my own brand because I really wanted to, to put it the knowledge um, to put the things that I learned on the leather fairs to use. And, and I really wanted to use those leathers. Uh, for example, I use a lot of uh, Inca calf as well. Um, um, and and, and I, I, I really wanted to put it to use. And that's why I started Sons of Henry. So basically, yeah, just just um, just through the leather fairs. And, and, and then and then, yeah, my my first collection with Sons of Henry uh, were um, were six models. And one of them was the George in Utah calf, and and <laughs> I mean the other five models sold well, but 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 that model was 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 insane. It 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 sold out I think after a month, and then and then even till this day, I mean the brand is now two years old. I never never have the shoe in stock. It's 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 almost impossible to keep up. Uh, last time I ordered my my biggest restock yet. And by the time they arrived, they were all sold. Out. Uh, they were all uh, uh, sold. So, I guess now I I have a couple of sizes on 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 the store, but but that's it. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, no, that's fantastic. If you ever yeah. uh, do them with leather soles, um, I'll buy another pair. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I heard it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe I should do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, it, it's funny. There's a lot of people who have this like rule in their head that you know it's got to be leather or it's got to be. Yeah. Uh, and and you're, you you do the blind stitch soles, which are just absolutely gorgeous on your shoes, mm. and uh, I, that's been a passion for me. I actually have a shelf that's separate for blind stitch, versus yeah, okay, rubber versus um, yeah, you know, cool. the, the open channel stuff. It's just yeah, uh, cool. I have a lot of shoes, so you know it's kind of different. But yeah, yeah, like 
the reason why I why I stuck with the, with the, with the, with the day night soul basically was because it took quite a while to 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 make the model because um, I don't know if you noticed but the day night soul has a um, has a beveled edge, yeah. Um, and I think I think there's only one other brand who offers uh, the day night soul with a with a beveled edge, and it was quite difficult to make basically. Uh, the factory in Spain uses a special machine um, to 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 sand the edge uh, of the rubber sole basically and because I, I i i think okay it's still a rubber sole but it looks quite elegant um that's basically the reason why i always stuck with uh, with 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 the day night but uh, i do get a lot of requests for um for leather as well so yeah so maybe i should i should do that as well yeah okay. well i mean it's obviously it's up to you and i know that you've yeah. uh, you've you've expanded into other areas so since yeah. you, you've you've started with Sons of Henry and, and that's kind of taken off, now you've done something new. Um, mm. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you're if you're talking about uh, the October 10th range or Vecla. Well, let's talk about Vecla first. Then we can. Talk okay. About yeah. Cool. That. So um, look. So to to be honest, uh, Sons of Henry is 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 uh, has been really cool, and and um, the amount of of of, of growth that i've seen in in the past year for example is just insane the month of november was 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 a crazy month um but still this is not something that i that i that i plan on doing for the rest of my life i have the idea that um so basically in our branch and the branch of 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 good year well to choose or uh, hand well to choose with us um sustainability was always a given. Um, high quality materials, uh, the leathers are tanned in, in, in France and Italy, the production happens in Spain. So it, in our industry, um, the sustainability aspect is just a given. Uh, it's never questioned. But when you look elsewhere, when you look at, 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 at different aspects in the clothing industry, it's, it's a completely different story. And so with Vecla, I'm trying to, to, to to take what I learned from 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 setting up Vos, uh, from setting up uh, Sons of Henry, and put it to use with 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 Vecla. I'm I'm trying to 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 find a, a high quality and a sustainable. Uh, um, uh, well, I'm trying to find a balance between a good price, high quality, and a sustainable product. That's 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 basically what I'm trying to do. And that's also what I'm what I'm planning on doing in the future. Um, in the future, I plan on 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 going further with with, with Vecla. And what happens with Sons of Henry? Well, we'll see. We'll see when I, when I get there. Maybe 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 in a year. Maybe in two years. I just decide to 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 stop Sons of Henry or 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 to pass it on to someone else. I'm 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 not sure. But but Vecla is 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 is, is where my main focus is, is, is at the moment, basically. I got it. Okay. And yeah. um, just to be clear, I mean, are, are you selling all types of clothing? What exactly are you doing with Vecla? Yeah, so with Vecla, I started with um, with sneakers. Okay. So because uh, sneakers were were, um, were closest to shoes, let's say. Right. So in in in, in a time frame of, of, of two years, I redesigned a sneaker from the ground up. Um, so I basically um, started with, with, with finding the best factory that I could. Um, I made a couple of prototypes with them. And with those prototypes, I just, I just redesigned them from scratch. Um, I designed my own uh, sneaker lasts. Um, I, 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 I found my own suppliers for um, a more sustainable leather. Um, all, uh, um, all of the different... Um, uh, items that go into the sneaker are are rethought, like uh, from the laces to the to the to the um, to the to the insoles to the shank. Yeah, it's all been redesigned, and I launched the sneakers in in, in April, so about half a year ago. Uh, they were really well received um, because uh, people people tell me they're 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 really comfortable, high quality, but also. Uh, uh, um, sold at a, at a at a at a at a good price, right? 
and so basically from there i um i went on with 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 with, with clothing and uh, basically uh, um, um this morning i launched my uh, shirt pre-order so um now i also sell uh, shirts with 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 vecla awesome yeah congratulations yeah. that's a huge step. yeah thank you yeah yeah it's it's i launched it uh, this morning at 10 and uh, yeah it's 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 going well i i have a lot of uh, 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 um, interest for it and then and then after the shirts uh, probably i'll 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 move into uh, denim um and then knitwear and 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 other stuff like that yeah so that's oh that's, that's fantastic that's so that. so so that actually leads me to to a question that i had that i wasn't sure that i would i, I would ask about but now that you're in the whole mm -hmm. fashion thing i i, I kind of have to yeah. but um how do you feel about you know style versus fad because there's a lot of fashion fads right they go in and yeah. out and and if you're in denim and sweaters and 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 sneakers yeah. and you know all of these different things um it's more pronounced than it is in the dress shoe world right definitely yeah for sure yeah so uh well with with vecla i'm hoping to build um one collection that will um that that will never change i mean i'm 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 going to build onto the collection, but it's not the idea to to make a whole new collection every six months. Um, I want to build um, a, a timeless product um, that's that's that 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 will never go 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 uh, like that will always be in fashion. Let's say. Um, so, for example, the shirts this morning are simply um, an Oxford cotton. Uh, button-down shirt in 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 a couple of different uh, colors. Um, it's 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 100% uh, bio cotton, um, and all of the 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 small items like the buttons, the buttons are are uh, mother of pearl. And so I believe that that um, just a simple, well-built, high-quality item is 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 much better than 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 a fashion fashion item like uh, like something that, that that that's that's in fashion for a couple of years and then you just throw away or or, or yeah so yeah makes sense I'm, yeah yeah i'm i'm really looking at 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 uh, at the long term there like um i'm 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 trying to 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 introduce a new product every six months so the sneakers were in april the 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 shirts now and then Probably it will be denim in uh, six in six months from now, but then let's say in, in about two years, two years and a half, the collection will be complete, and then and then from there I'm going to expand the collection, but never never change the collection, you know. So yeah. right, I, I got it. So when you're thinking denim, mm -hmm. so just to give everybody a little bit of a preview, yeah, um, are you thinking you know selvage denim? I mean, where 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 is your yeah in as well as well. So yeah. Um, so with denim, um, yeah, you probably know, but a denim is quite um, uh, a bad product for the environment uh, or the the way it's 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 made at least. Um, so, in a in a in a first step, uh, let's say, I'm just trying to uh, come up with with denim that's um, better for the environment. Um, in terms of the way it's 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 made, but also the way it's um, it's 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 dyed and the way it's uh, faded. Um, so we try to use um, as little chemicals as possible, uh, as little water as possible. Um, definitely no 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 harsh uh, no harsh uh, chemicals. Um, I also try to have it produced entirely in Italy. So from the fabric to the to the to, to the production to the to the to the buttons, uh, I want it to be produced in Italy. Um, and then and then so once once I have this 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 first prototype, let's say, then then I'm, then I'm going to look into into maybe a, a salvage denim or 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 other types of denim. But um, first, I want to I want to make an an accessible denim for everyone, uh, but it's also better for the environment. I actually have have the prototype uh, next to me uh, because oh, wow. um, because I did a call with um, with uh, uh, the fashion school from Florence uh, last week, right. and so I showed it showed it to them as well. Uh, so this is the first prototype. It's um, I I 
I got it a couple of months ago. Uh, I worked on it for about, um, I think maybe uh, six months. Um, and, and, and then uh, this, so this is the first prototype. It's made in Italy. Uh, the fabric is uh, also from Italy. And then it's, it's, it's um, colored and faded. Um, with with ozone and and, and laser techniques, so it's it's really something. Oh, so you're use, utilizing technology to create a greater degree of sustainability. Yeah, um, yeah. So indeed. instead of harsh chemicals, you're using the lasers and and things like yeah, that. Yeah, for example. Yeah, That's indeed. a great idea. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. I I think so too. And and I think that um, that also in the industry, people are really uh, focusing on that more and more. Because when I started with the sneakers, for example, um, so I started the project uh, two years ago. Uh, when I when I told the the factory that that I wanted to use um, metal-free leather, they basically told me that they didn't knew anyone in the industry that 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 had it um, or it had it in stock. Uh, so I was looking at a really high minimum order quantities because people were able to do it, but. It, only with a really high minimum order quantities and at a higher price. Right. So for the first collection uh, of sneakers with Vecla, I I I decided to to go that route. So I had to buy quite a big amount of leather, but I decided to um, to to suck up the cost, like like, like so, so to 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 take the cost and 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 just keep the price at the price that I always wanted to sell it. So, um, and I basically gambled on the fact that that in the future, things would get better. Um, uh, the minimum order quantities would decrease and the prices would decrease as well. And um, a couple of months ago, I went to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, to the factory in Italy to check up on the production. And then they, they told me that, 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 that they had found more suppliers who supply metal-free leather that is becoming um, more common in the industry. Um, and just the other week, um, I got a call from, from uh, one of the biggest uh, tanneries in Italy who tans uh, really high quality suede. And they told me that their uh, small uh, color card that they had has now expanded into a bigger one um, for the sustainable suede because there's a lot of uh, people asking for it because I actually have a copy here. So this this is the, the suede that I use for the sneakers. And so um, a year and a half ago, I got this this color card. And, and, and so these were the colors that I got to choose from. So that's it. Wow. So that's, that's, that's 24 colors and, and, and that's it. But now I, I have a color card, but I don't have it with me here. But now I can choose between 100 different shades of, 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 of suede, um, which, which was impossible a couple of years ago, you know. So, 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 so the industry is really focusing on 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 that aspect, on on the aspect of um, of, of of making a, a a high quality item but more sustainable, you know. Yeah. No, fascinating. I love it. That's uh, yeah. I, I'm I'm glad to see that the industries are starting to go that way. It's important for all. Of yeah. Us. Yeah. Indeed, it is. It is. Yeah. It is. So so let's let's talk about October 10th. Um, yeah. This is a collaboration. October 10th is in Shanghai. Uh, yeah. How did you get started there? And 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 how has that transformed your 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 focus? So um, after setting up uh, Sons of Henry, uh, I noticed a lot of people were still interested in 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 hand welded shoes. Um, but uh, let's say that with with Vaz, I didn't I didn't really see a future anymore because uh, Vaz started selling uh, through their own uh, website. Uh, they started selling um, um, to to their own customers, and and as a retailer, I think this day it's 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 not really possible anymore to 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 be selling vans uh, because the margins are are just not there. <laughs> um, so we needed to find something else, and 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 of course, yeah, with 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 with, with Instagram, um, you see a lot of uh, new brands coming up. From Asia, uh, yeah. new factories being established in Asia, and yeah, frankly, what they can produce is is, is just it's just mind blowing. Um, of course, labor is less expensive there, but it never bothered me to produce something in China 
as long as I'm sure that it's produced well. I mean um, that 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 people aren't exploited, that people get a good wage, and with, with October 10, I'm 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 sure of that. Uh, they were they were. Um, I, we we have a mutual friend who lives in um, in Beijing, and he visits the workshop in Shanghai uh, quite often. And so it's basically through him that I got into contact with the owner of uh, of October 10. And uh, he he also sent me a couple of pictures uh, last week. So if you want, I can send them to you, and you can and, and you can edit them and and put them in your video, sure. um, because there are some 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 pictures of the workshop. Um, and 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 so yeah, that's that's basically how I got into contact with October 10. I I I had clients asking for it. I had a friend in Beijing who knew a guy who had a factory in, in Shanghai, and 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 so yeah, it just it just clicked. Yeah, it just um, and we went from there. But basically, um, the brand is 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 not the same as a factory. So the factory they produce for for a couple of different brands, but um, the October 10 brand is their own. Um, their own brand, basically, and 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 I'm just a retailer at the moment. Um, I got it. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like Paolo Scafora, right? Where they were doing shoes for all these different brands, and then they decided yeah, one indeed. day we're gonna do our own. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that's exciting, and I, I'm excited. I, I'm excited for you that there's a hand welded option that you can be the retailer for, and. Uh, yeah. You know, you've certainly brought it to the attention of the the shoe collector world, right? Very well. Yeah, I'm I'm That's trying. Yeah. Mo moving on, how has COVID uh, and and the challenges that we're all going through globally uh, around COVID? How has that impacted yeah. uh, um, your designs? How has that impacted what you're doing? Because obviously, people are if they're not going to work, they're they're not wearing dress shoes as often, right? Yeah, indeed. Uh, how has that impacted, you know, what you're looking at for the future and, and what you're trying to do? Yeah. So uh, it has impacted business on quite a, um, a number of, 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 of areas. Um, so first of all, um, in terms of the customer demand, um, I didn't really see a decline because my customers, uh, they purchase shoes for for many 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 years uh, they 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 have a huge collection of sh shoes to, so they probably don't need any more shoes um, but it, they just like a, a a new pair of shoes now and then um, i can relate to yeah. that yeah, yeah and <laughs> probably so the demand never really slowed down i mean maybe at the beginning when 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 the virus just hit you could see some people um, or, or, or there were a couple of weeks uh, where you could see a small decline, but uh, like I said, I mean my my revenue this year has grown a hundred percent, so I really can't complain. Yeah. Um, but for me, what's what's more difficult is the fact that I'm not allowed to travel. Um, if I travel, for example, to Spain or to Italy to go to the factories, um, I have to uh, lock myself up for two weeks. In my apartment, uh, so that's something that's that's that that that's impossible for me. I mean, as a as a, as a, as a small business owner, um, in February I started renting uh, an office space, so that was a big step for me. And then in March uh, the virus hit, so that was a bit of a bummer. Uh, but so I just I I couldn't imagine um, having to lock myself up for two weeks because that would be um, really bad for the business. Right. So. The fact that I can't travel um, is has been really difficult because I have no way to 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 follow up on 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 production or to follow up on 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 new product development. Um, everything has to go through Skype, uh, through WhatsApp, uh, with pictures, um, notes that are being sent back and forth to the to the to the factory. So yeah, that's 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 something I. I, I really miss um, and I hope I'll be able to travel again really soon. Um, but other than that, basically, um, I didn't see a lot of change. It's, it's, it's a fact that, that, but that's something that's been going on for years. I mean, people are focusing more and more on, on a casual shoe, on, on, yeah. on casual clothing. So maybe that's something that's, um, 
it's now even more the case than before. Um, but since starting Sons of Henry, I, um, I, 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 I decided to never sell a Black Capto Oxford. Um, I only sold one model at the, at, the, at the start, and actually that 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 wasn't really my decision. Uh, but people just kept telling me, "Yeah, you you need to have a black Oxford." But um, no, I'm 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 I, I I don't have any 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 love for for black Oxford shoes. So basically, the entire collection at the moment is quite casual. Uh, I have a lot of suede options. A lot of uh, grain options with the Utah grain uh, uh, with the country calf. So that's also something. I mean, the fact that people are buying more and more casual shoes that's something that I that I that I that I don't fear. I mean, also with Vecla, uh, the sneakers, uh, they're they've been selling really well um, because people are wearing more sneakers now than 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 the rest shoes. So yeah, so basically. The pandemic hasn't hasn't affected the business in in a negative way. Luckily, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's good, and uh, I I do yeah. hope uh, for, for your sake, for my sake, for all of our sakes, that uh, it will get under control so that uh, we can all yeah definitely yeah right because that would yeah, be soon as possible. that would be good for yeah. all of us yeah yeah indeed. So um so, so we talked a little bit about what's next with Veckler and um. Yeah. What What's next with October 10th? Do you have anything uh, planned for the future there to change the uh, planet? Well, uh, to be honest, I, I really need to, to start spending more time on, on October 10th because uh, I feel that with Sons of Henry and with uh, the new developments from Vecla, uh, I didn't, well, I haven't been able to spend as much time on it um, as possible. Uh, but I think with October 10th, we're focusing at the moment on uh, more patterns uh, for sure. And um, maybe a couple of new lasts, um, nice. uh, specific lasts for a specific type of feet, um, because the 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 factory in 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 China um, they move really fast, uh, so that's um, a really big plus. Um, they can they can make a new last um, in 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 record speed, um, and 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 so that's really good. Um, when working with them, um, we can we can we can make a new pattern in a couple of weeks, basically. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to focus on on those two areas: uh, new patterns and new lasts. Um, because at the moment, the 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 leather side of things uh, is covered. I think we have quite a nice selection of 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 leather uh, with yeah. October 10. Um, yeah. So lasts and patterns. So. Very nice. When um w when you start looking at lasts, do you work with the uh, the folks at October 10th to design them, and then you just kind of say, oh, I think this should be different or that should be different, or do you actually get out there and start carving a last, and and kind of um, no, I, I I only carved a last once, and and it was for my own feed, and and I failed miserably. So yeah. no, I I never well, I mean, um, I used to work a lot of with with wood. I had a passion for wood, like I said. I mean, I also, I, I always wanted to be a carpenter. Um, so I mean, I mean, I've, I've handled lasts, and maybe I've, 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 I've done a small, a couple of small modifications to them as well. But, but I never made a last from scratch because it's really, really difficult. It's really a science. Um, the, the, the smallest amount of material you take off changes the last completely. Um, but basically what we did with October 10 was, well, they had a lot of experience um, with their factory uh, in terms of um, lasts and last shapes. Mm -hmm. But of course the lasts were made on a, on a, on a, on a Chinese siding system. So we worked for a couple of months, um, me together with the people from Springline and the people in Shanghai to um, make a couple of lasts that are um, UK sized, but that are um, quite clearly, um, well, the the proportions of the lasts are only manageable for hand welded shoes. I couldn't take a last from October 10 and use it with Sons of Henry. Because yeah. when you make a shoe by hand, um, it's much easier to, to to mold the leather to the to the last, like in a in a, in a sort of uh, a 3D shape, so you can create a 
a much tighter waist, for example, you can create um, a, a, a sort of a curved last, basically, uh, as well. But um, so so those kind of aspects are 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 really typical for handmade shoe. So the lasts are 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 really really are 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 cl clearly uh, made for a ha for a handmade shoe. But they are uh, UK sized. That was something that I that I that I that I really wanted because I told October 10, look, I have a lot of customers who purchased uh, Vash shoes before and who now purchase uh, Sons of Henry. And um, if you want to go global, you need to have a sizing system that's that's global. And 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 UK sizing, I think, is one of the best sizing systems for shoes at the moment. So yeah, so that that's something that was really important to me uh, as a retailer. Yeah. Yeah, no, it makes, makes a lot of sense. And um, you, you said Springline too. So you're working with them in order to translate the UK sizing, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been working with them. Uh, I think I think um, since, since six years, they've, they've made the lasts for uh, Sons of Henry because normally when you start a, a shoe brand and you find a factory, for example, the factory in Spain, um, you would either simply take one of their lasts or you would go to their last maker. But that's something I didn't want to do because I really like the the look of an English shoe. So from the from the beginning, I started working with Springline to develop the lasts also for Sons of Henry. Then the sneaker last for uh, for Vecla has also been developed by Springline, uh, something that the Italians uh, were not in favor of. Uh, but I told them that Springline also had a lot of uh, experience that that they could also do a wonderful job, and 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 they did. I think um, so. Yeah, I just kind of uh, stuck with 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 Springline because um, I I trust them. They're good in what they do, and um, it's it's also easy to have to have all the lasts for the different projects that I do made by one company. Absolutely. Because yeah, yeah I can I can uh, especially because I have a lot of customers from Sons of Henry who move it on to Vecla as well, and now it's really easy to guide them. Uh, in terms of sizing, um, I, because that's 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 something that 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 I think I'm quite lucky with. Um, my um, I have barely no returns. Um, other brands have a lot of returns because shoes uh, don't fit people. Right. But for me, uh, I think I think my I think I have maybe two or three percent uh, returns. So that's so that's something I'm I'm quite lucky with. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. I think one of the reasons is because I always decided to stick with with Springline and and with their their last so that all the lasts are 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 are, are um, you can uh, all all the lasts are made to the same uh, sizing system basically. Yeah, absolutely it makes makes uh, makes sense and uh, yeah. um, is uh, is ingenious to, to be able to do that. That's that's. Yeah. Really Smart, so good. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, but it's really something that that that's also uh, not easy, and and sometimes sometimes I I'm 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 I doubt if if, if it's if it's always the, the the good idea because like for example in Italy, yeah, they 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 have a really good last maker uh, next to the factory, but um, yeah, it's, it's 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 something that 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 I've always wondered. Uh, I'm comfortable with with Springline, and and so far. Uh, things worked out well, so so yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, in in business, uh, like in everything, you have to trust your instincts, and your instincts. Yeah, yeah, I think so very too. good. So, yeah. so yeah. well, hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. My I pleasure. Feel, um, you know, I think that this is going to be helpful for a lot of people, and I wish you yeah, luck so. with, uh, with all all three of the the lines of collaboration. Yeah, thank you. I, there, uh, <laughs> and, and I love the sustainability. Um, that you're that you're working Thank on you. with Beckler. It's a uh, it's an important yeah. thing. And I'll go check out the uh, the shirt site today. Yeah, yeah, definitely you should. Yeah, yeah. It's, right. uh... Thank you again. Okay, cool. Yeah, my pleasure.